What if my fingers never heal back all the way? JT, how do you take that and deal with that? <laughs> what a beautiful question from my brother, Abdul. Shout out to you. Um, you was talking about when I had the stroke back in 2016. And I'm doing this video, first of all, off top, let me give my Savior, let me give my Heavenly Father, let me give the Holy Spirit and all a big shout out. From 2016 to up to now, I've been without my fingers in my left hand. Most of y'all know that from the stroke I had. And the sad thing is, when I had that stroke in 2016, one of those doctors was trying to speak another stroke on me, medically speaking. They were saying, while I was spiritually speaking against them, was saying most people when they have a stroke in the next two or three months, you're going to have another stroke. <laughs> and I laughed just like I just did right there. I, okay, I hear you. And she says, uh, yeah, like this, don't. This is, Mr. Mr. Thompson, this is a serious matter. You you laughing? And I say, yeah, because you don't know the type of most high God I serve. While you medically speaking, I spiritually speak against you. When you don't know what's wrong with me, when you're trying to put me on stuff and do an experiment. When y'all told me my heart would never get better, and here it is, 2024, I got this same heart. And I'm not on no, uh, what you call it, um, the fibrillator. I don't have no stench, none of that. Because the Holy Spirit is the ultimate doctor that healed me, that knows me better than anybody. But you asked the question, because you know I love to play the piano. You say, JT, will you accept if your fingers never came back? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> And I want to carry somebody with this. When I look at my situation, then I look at somebody else doing worse stuff than me. Hallelujah. Because it could have been a worse stroke. It could have been like some of the people I know who's paralyzed in the wheelchair and can't move at all. And they can't get up. They can't do nothing. They got to have somebody to change them and all kinds of things. It could have been that type of stroke. So I can't do nothing but accept it. I've accepted it this far. I can't get mad at the Holy Spirit. For what? Holy Spirit allowed it to happen just so he can get the glory again from the heart failure. CHF. I conquered that. Excuse me. I'm saying I, but I'm talking about the Holy Spirit within me and my believing and speaking and knowing, but mostly speaking in my own life, I'm healed. Yeah, it hurts at times. I can't play the piano like I want to. I can't do certain things with my kids like I want to. It, but I don't look at myself as a handicap. I don't look at myself as a victim. I look at myself as the victory. Case closed. I can't do nothing but accept it. This past weekend, I just spoke about what shall I render once again, as we talked about on here the other day. I said, when you see me praising with this one hand, when you see me on my piano at church, when you see me singing, when you see me still trying to clean up and do stuff that my, my mind is telling me to do, but the fingers won't let me, I'm rendering. Why would I dare give up on the Holy Spirit? See, some people, they get sick and they just flat out give up. Quitting ain't in me. Y'all know that. So it could have been worse than it, than it is. Though I may not have my left fingers moving like my, my right hand, but I'm still moving. I'm reminded as I close with my brother Kevin Davis on here. Kevin Davis is blind. And he say he thanked the most high for what he can see. Somebody right now can't see at all, can't hear at all, don't have no legs at all. I, they not even in their right mind at all. So we better start proclaiming instead of complaining. I leave on that. Shalom, family.